Hi, we're here today with Sujatha Reddy, and Sujatha is an Ayurvedic medicine doctor, and we just did a lovely interview with her, and she mentioned pranayama, which is a technique you teach all of your patients. Yes. Uh, and pranayama is what? So pranayama is the breathing uh, techniques. It's called the breathing exercises. Prana is life, which the breath, which we all know we cannot live without. And we can we are just not alive without. And yama is the exercise. So when we breathe, our breath is the pulse of our, how our mind and body is doing. Anytime we have a thought, anytime we are checking our emails, anytime we are doing anything, do we even think about our breath? We don't. You know, we're not For example, breathing. even now, if I ask you, how are you breathing? Yeah, I Suddenly go, huh. you go, yeah. <sighs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> because your breath is shallow. Yes. Because you're focused, you're here, your breath is shallow, isn't it? It, I, it is. And that tells you that breath is the pulse of our mind and body. Interesting. And so when we look at babies, for example, babies always breathe the belly breath. Always. And they They're breathe so, through their nose. They breathe through, through their nose and their abdomen is so relaxed. Yeah. They don't move the little chest. Isn't it? Yeah. So that's, they're in total deep relaxation. They don't have that left hemisphere to get in the way. They don't have <laughs> anything to get in the way. Right. They cry when they're hungry. They eat when they need to. They sleep when they need to. And their breath is belly breathing. So we should not forget that. Mm -hmm. Another important thing is when we breathe, we have to use all the three lobes of our lungs which we don't. we don't. When we are busy in our mind, and we are very busy in our body doing something, we catch our breath, and our breath becomes shallow. Mm -hmm. And what happens with that is, our toxicity levels in our body goes up, the carbon dioxide levels go up. Mm -hmm. When that happens, our focus becomes so narrow, we start forgetting our periphery. Huh. And then, anxiety takes over. Yep. <laughs> Tunnel vision. Yeah, tunnel vision. <laughs> yes. So I tell my clients, check on your breath. If you have a computer job or any job, every hour for a timer, check on your breath and deep breathe. It's like building a pressure in the pressure cooker. Oh, that's a good analogy. Build the pressure and then shh, we don't want to go there. No. So as and when we're building, we want to release it. So when we become mindful about our breath, then we are not building pressure, right? And we, we pull are, ourselves out of this space or this space. We become mindful. That's right. what is called being mindful and being in the present moment. Now, I've also read that it affects your heart rate as well. Yes. So you're going to go into a parasympathetic mode as you take those Absolutely. deep breaths. From the parasympathetic, you go into the sympathetic mode. Mm -hmm. And when you're taking more oxygen, that oxygen is going to be stored in the mitochondria of every cell in our body, which is the storehouse of energy. Yes, or energy producers. Energy producers, right? Yeah. So when you need it, you can utilize it. When there is no reserve, you're operating on a very bankrupt level. So this might explain a lot of the fatigue we hear out of office workers, and they're yes. just wiped out. They're just, because yes. mm -hmm. they've spent in that focused tunnel vision in front of a computer screen yes. all day. Yes, so there are, in pranayama, there are different types of breathing techniques. Yeah. Can you show us one? I can show you one, okay. which I call it the alternative nostril breathing. Okay. Oh, I've that, heard of that. Yes, we are all quite familiar. That brings us um, into balance, back into balance. It balances both our right and left hemispheres of our brain. Okay. So very simple is to place your feet on the floor, sit up straight, Take a few deep belly breaths. Once you take a few belly breaths for about two to three minutes, you hold your hand in such a way that you stick out your little finger and your thumb. Close your right nostril Inhale through your left nostril. Hold.
hold. Exhale through the right nostril. Again, inhale through the right nostril. Hold. Exhale through the left nostril. This is one cycle of breath. And we can also chant the so hum. So hum means so I am. Oh, that's beautiful. That is the state that we are in. That so I am being here in the now. That is a beautiful breath. It just the one cycle. Yes. Makes and me you feel we calmer. do that every day for ten minutes. So do you recommend it in the middle of the day as you wake up, go to bed, does it matter what time of day? I would say anytime you're brushing your teeth in the morning. Oh. Even before brushing your teeth, when you wake up in the morning. Just to get you balanced and ready for your day. And put a good intention about your day and how you want the day to be. May you make and create your own day. Because exactly. we do. Exactly. Yes. We just sometimes yes check on your thoughts. Mm -hmm. and we fall victim to it and think somebody else did it. No. It's all about how we start our It's all right. about what intention you want to start the day with. Yeah. And so then we become ready for that with a clear mind and a clear body, right? So we clear our mind, we clear our breath, and then we clear our body by brushing our teeth and doing washing our body and you know, all of that. Yep. It's a ritual to begin It's a day. ritual to begin our day with. Oh, thank you. That's a beautiful gift. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. You can follow up with Sujatha by looking at the uh, link here at the bottom of the YouTube and find her online. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.